Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jay with General Drinker here. Did a video, uh, we're just now starting our YouTube channel. Did a video kind of breaking down the build like everybody wanted to see. So shout out to you guys for wanting to see what was done to the Hellcat. Wanted to wait until we got some shooting footage of that in order to put that out there for you. But I'm just not gonna wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you exactly what we did. So enjoy the video, like, and subscribe if you wanna see future content from us. We are now just starting the YouTube channel. We're gonna have some really, really cool stuff to show you all and hope that you join us in the journey. So thank you all for your comments on the previous video. Looking forward to reading more on this one and hope you have a great 4th of July. Yeah! What's going on everybody? This is Jay with General Drinker. So glad to have you here with me today. A lot of you asked on the last video when I talked about extending the capacity with the 15 round magazine for Springfield Armory, now for the Hellcat, using the Hive plus one plus three extensions in that magazine. And I was able to get 18 in the magazine with one in the chamber for 19 total rounds, okay? So we talked about that. I talked about how I, I cut this sleeve out a little bit and made it fit more, more flush. And you guys, we got a lot of positive responses, so I'm really thankful for that. Thank you guys for being interested in what we're interested in. And so everyone asked, you know, break down your build. What you do to your Hellcat, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to show you today. Now, full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Obviously, bought all these myself. We're just now starting our YouTube channel and going to show you some really awesome stuff. I have done a ton of builds and have a very large catalog of things that we can show you in the future. But with all that being said, for now, I'm gonna show you what I did. Not gonna link anything, and again, not sponsored because hashtag YouTube, right? So first of all, show you that this is disassembled. There's nothing in there. There's two magazines to show you today that don't have ammunition in them, all right? So safety is out of the way. So just to start off, we talked about the plus one, plus three extension for the magazine. So I'm not going to cover that. But what I am going to cover are the other Hive accessories that I have done. I do have the Monarch trigger here as well as the extended magazine release that you can see. And we've also got the back plate, the Hive back plate, which I thought was pretty cool looking for this build. Okay, so I've got those Hive accessories right there. Now talking about this, M Carbo. That's M like Mike. M Carbo makes a Hellcat trigger spring kit and stainless steel striker sleeve. Okay, so those things are going to be in here. All right, the sleeve that comes in this firearm is plastic. All right, you can see the metal right there. So you replace the striker sleeve with the M Carbo kit, and that makes it stainless steel. All right, it's a lot harder. It's gonna last a lot longer and be far more durable. You replace the spring systems too that are in here on the back of your slide, all right? I also upgraded with the trigger spring kit, all right? So that's that's part of that. The, the M Carbo trigger spring and stainless steel striker sleeve. So that's part of it. So I know some people go with Apex. They go with the Apex trigger system that has all of that internal um, component system going on. I went with the Monarch because I like the color. It fits the design that I wanted to go with, kind of the foundation of green and black, and which also matches the barrel that, that I'll, I'll cover here in a moment. But I wanted to go with something that would just match up, and unfortunately, Apex doesn't make any different colors. I might, would have considered them, but I do really like the Monarch trigger. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I've put this spring kit in there and tested it with a trigger pull and it's, it's far better. Now, I don't have those exact numbers. Again, here's the downfall of just now creating a YouTube channel. All the stuff we've done in the past, we haven't cataloged it, right? We haven't filmed it. We haven't, uh, you know, written it down anywhere. We just build really nice stuff and customize it. And uh, now we're just going to finally start showing the world. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I, you know, I'll probably do it and put it in the comments if you guys want to know what what this went from, or, or at least what it is now. So just let me know if you'd like to see that in comments. Outside of that, I haven't done anything else to this. I haven't, I haven't done anything else at all to this. Um, this is just a standard Hellcat, all right? One of the first generation 
OSPs. That's all. So go into the slide. Now here's here's where the fun has begun. I'll go ahead and tell you. I kept the U design sights on this because I really really like them. I really really like that. And the camera's not going to pick this up, but I do have a red dot on this. I decided to go with the Holosun 507KX2 because I really like it and it's micro so it does fit this Hellcat very well. Now you can see right here this is an adapter plate so I've not had this milled out. I didn't want to have it milled out. I thought that was kind of useless. Um, but this adapter plate can be had from CNH Precision Weapons. They make a Hellcat with RMSC footprint for the Holosun specifically and you can see it mounts up perfectly. It's an adapter plate. Now CNH will also mill your slide for you if you want them to. Here's the only thing you get milling a slide compared to the adapter plate. All right, you're going to be able to line up your front and rear sights. So right now if we line it up we're basically at the very bottom of the screen size on the hollow sun. You can't really see it but you know if you get those irons lined up in the bottom of that you know that you're on. Getting rid of that adapter plate and milling your slide directly is only going to give you the ability to see that clearer through your glass. And, and I wasn't worried about that at all. <clears throat> so there you go. So we already talked about the back plate and the striker sleeve inside of there. Now I haven't done anything with the rod obviously, but here's the barrel. A lot of you asked about this barrel. I love this barrel. I absolutely love it. Not only do I like the color and the design because it's just unique. But it's actually really, really good barrel. You can see it's it's a little dirty now. We did we did train with this a while back, but the milling on this is just super, super good. I, I don't notice a difference between the factory barrel and this one in terms of accuracy. I want to say like I feel like it's a little more accurate, but I I, I also know that bias can creep in. Obviously, you spend money in buying a new barrel you're going to want it to perform better, right? So I, I don't want to be biased on anything, but I really feel like it's it's definitely as good, if not better. So I, I will just say that. So this goes in here, and then you're just going to tighten your protector on there, okay? And I'll go ahead and assemble this so you can see it. Get that slid in just 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 right there we go all right now we have it together you can see the full build here really simple there is not really anything complicated going on here um i do a lot of custom duracoat and painting and this and you know distressed looks and battle worn looks and things like that i haven't done any of that with this i haven't even put a talon grip or anything on it because one of the selling points of this hellcat for me was this actual grip system i held this i held the sig sour 365 and a few others and i love the way that this held up <coughs> excuse me so we've got this down now this is the extended base plate <coughs> you saw this before this makes this an 18 plus one right but this is how i carry it i carry it with the plus one, plus three on the 10 round magazine um, for, uh, or actually uh, I guess it would be the 11 round for the Hellcat. So that's how I carry it. So that's the build. Really simple, <coughs> excuse me guys. Really simple, nothing else going on with this. Um, I'm, I'm eager to, to know what you guys have done with, with your Hellcat build. Um, I'd love for you to share that with me. I know that there's additional spring plates and things that have come out for these now. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else with it. It's a very good appendix carry firearm with this on there. I actually haven't tried it with this, but I, I think that would just be too much weight. And I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. I can carry this. I can carry a secondary mag <clears throat> and, uh, and, and be fine. I've, I've got plenty of ammunition. Hopefully, though like any firearm, none of us ever have to use these. That's, that's the biggest point. But anyway, there's the build, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe and like this video 
and join us on the journey. We're starting a YouTube channel now. We're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff, taking you through all kinds of things, right? If you notice our logo, you'll see the feather inside the glass. That feather actually has meaning, and we'll share that with you later, but that has everything to do with the content that we're going to be creating and sharing with you all. So I look forward to seeing you all next time, and remember, protect and defend the Second Amendment, okay? Okay.